All right. Let's do a cold start on this thing. I got a few hours to play today. We'll bring it back in the garage and see if we get a little bit more work done on it. I'm just going to remember what does what. Hey, you got to hit the gas pedal and then pull the choke up. If no, it doesn't allow the choke to get pulled up. And I think we're in neutral. And I don't have a key. I got to get a key. Now we got a key. All right. So it's a cold start. It's been probably about a week. Let's see what we get. the garage warm up a little bit go have myself a little lunch I'll come back and get into it and that was nice and comfortable in here all right so there's a couple areas I think I want to try to do a, a tack today on some of the metal work just because it feels like what I want to work on you know so it's got a big hit right here see it crushed in pretty good so I don't know if it'd be better off to remove this maybe not it looks like it seems sealed right in might have to work with it on there and actually the rest of it doesn't look too bad as far as any you know bangs and dents and dings a couple of scrapes on the door here I'm not really that concerned about and a lot of people are asking you gonna paint it and all no I want to leave the body the way it is I'll, I'll clean it up but I'm gonna leave the rust and leave it patina and I do plan on covering where it says police I don't know if I want to do like dog pound or something like that with like a magnetic uh, signs we'll cover it we'll leave the police underneath it so if it's at a car show or something we can kind of take it off but and what's in the back is uh i don't know what this space was used for i think it was probably you know maybe you have boots the uh you, know, you boot a car that might have been what was in there or some cones and then it has a separate trunk further back and i got a bunch of tires and junk in it right now but it's just essentially it's a big trunk Full of junk right now, full of tires. But I kind of like that part of it too. I wish it went all, I wish this part was the whole back of it and it flipped up, it'd be really cool. But yeah, it is what it is. There's another dent right there. Got into it. We may or may not push that back out. And if you'll notice, this door. Kind of shuts fairly decent. The other door has an issue. And that issue, see how it's kind of sprung right now? See how it wants to not close? And the reason for that is it's got square tubing frame kind of going down. But I think what happened was at some point it got a leak and water was getting inside of it. And it filled the whole thing up. And if you look at this, this has gone round. All this is round. So it's pushing further out on the jam than it used to. Right, I'll give you a, a visual reference. So you can see how much that's out. All the way up there, there. And finally you get to the top. And it's back to being pretty square again. So again, it filled up with water and then in the wintertime it froze. There's actually a crack right here going up it. So that's what's causing the door not to be able to shut because this square channel right here was meant to go over that and now it's not doing it because of you know, obvious reasons. So we're gonna go work on trying to crush that back into shape too. And then we'll see where we go from there. So let me get set up, we'll get it on to something and uh, we'll start beating, we'll let the beatings begin. 
So I figured maybe we'll try um, mild to aggressive. We'll just try grabbing it and see if it'll squeeze back together. Nah, it's kind of bouncy. It wants to bounce back. We gotta get some kind of clamping situation on that, I think. Let's see if we can get that door out of our way. Should be able to lift it up off of there. I don't know how rusted it is, but... Opening up? I think it is. thinking is uh taking a vice where is it it's over on the bench over there maybe setting up the vice and we'll try putting a vice on it and running the handle down see if we just kind of squish it together think it'll work what do you think i think it's worth a shot it's either gonna work brilliantly or fail miserably. I see it. He's crushing in. Of course, this is popping way out. But maybe we'll try grabbing it the other way. I wonder if we could put maybe some C-clamps with some support this way and do what we're doing. You know what I mean? Box it in with something this way when we're squeezing it. Because right now, this is opening up more. I don't know. We'll run this up and down a little bit. See how we get. Let's go a little further. Doesn't have to be perfect as long as the door closes. What do we get? Anything out of that? Well, that's much flatter, but again, that's puffed out more. And I don't want to keep chasing it back and forth. I'm going to run that up this way and then we'll come back and see how it does. So I did another squeeze up here. And dropped it back down. I'm going to try coming back this way. See what we get. See if it just keeps... If we keep just chasing our tail. You know what I mean? Or... Will it work? Eh. I don't want to start wailing on. I want to make a whole bunch of dents in it. That's what I'm trying to avoid. You know, it's going to make some marks where the jaws start, but I don't want to hammer the crap out of it neither, you know? And how about we go for the work smarter, not harder part of the deal. Let's see if we can get a clamp on this guy. And this is a lift table. And we can jack the lift table up and not have to try to lift the vise up into place. I think. See how that does. I release it. Right. Let's see if we can come up with that. I have to move you guys. Hold on one second. Tight squeeze. Pardon me. Let's see if we can lift that guy up. Give her another shot. Kind of working. I'm liking it. Well, I got the lower section decent. You know, it's still egged out somewhat. I figure maybe we'll put the door back on it. And we'll see if how it's doing. Clean the pins up a little too. Now, now it's hitting right here. 
I guess we'll, I'm just gonna have to hold that one by hand and kind of crunch it into place. One thing I'm leery about is the windshield though. I won't want to put stress on something or bump into something by accident and take that out. So I'm with that other post and I have a hard time trying to switch back and kind of crush it this way. So I think we're gonna try a little bit of uh, beatings while that's on there. Let's see, hopefully this works out well, see how it goes. Top action. Actually works pretty good. I've been chasing my tail a little bit with it, you know, going back and forth. Get that right in the middle there. Again, I was trying to stay away from making it like wavy dense. Right in the middle. I think we gotta come back down down further too. Yeah, let me continue that. Let's go a little a couple more. I'm using the mushroomed end of it just because it uh, evens out the blow a little bit more. Steer, I swing and a miss. That's the plan now. I'd say between uh, the vice and beating, it's done pretty good. Unfortunately, it's kind of marked it up and I was trying to stay away from that, but I don't think it's going to show. <laughs> I don't really think it's going to show. All right, let's see what we got here. That isn't perfect, but it's definitely a lot better. It's much more square than it was, right? Right there is bulged out. I don't know. Let's go throw the door on it one more time and see how it looks. Yeah, let's see what we got. Better. I've been holding it about an inch now. Still seems to be that upper section. I wonder if we can kind of maybe whack that hinge out a little. That's what I'm talking about. So it's hitting, you know, right there. I wonder if maybe we should take this point of this hinge. We'll kind of drive it this way. I should just bring it out of here. Because the bottom looks fine. There's plenty of gap there now. But up here it gets tight. I don't really see it being much of an issue up there. Let's see. Let's get in it. I'll see how it's hitting here. Yeah. It's all right there. Probably around that tit off of there too. It's like a weld or something. Might have been repaired. I bet you that's what it is too. I think there's a rust repair right there. Yeah. Oh, that nipple's hitting. Let me take a little flapper disc. We'll knock that down before we beat on the hinge. Try that and then we'll, maybe between the combination, we'll be able to get it. Noise alert. I wonder if we can get that seal out of there a little bit too. I'll glue that back on later. There we go. Now we're in. enough for you I'll bring you back in a second yeah that seemed to help it greatly we're almost like right there it's I could shut it now before you had to slam the crap out of it you know now you can kind of shut it right about an inch away kind of seems like it springs back so again I think we should give it a we'll give it a whack right there on the hinge and see if we can kind of just allow the door to go a hair that way more and see if that does it. Yeah, what do you think? Maybe hold it like this and hit it? Yeah, let's try that. One more.
and <laughs> didn't like that. Wonder if the door is too low now. The striker is adjustable. Seems like the gap is, you know, it's there. I think the striker is now, it's all ready. Oh, we think we'd have to go down more. It looks like it's almost all the way down. Eh, it's in the middle of it. I think I'm gonna take, we'll kind of knock this weld off of it a little. It's almost a budding where it is. Maybe smack that with a hammer too. All right, I think we're getting it now. Just the latch clicking. That's it. What was happening was it was striking really far out and I think it was kind of catching on the end of this. It looks like it's been doing it for a long time judging by the, the stain that was on it. So what I did is I just drove both hinges this way and it gave the door a little bit more room. I think probably what happened was when that got egged out from from trying to close the door still, you know, with it puffed out, ended up pushing the hinges back that way, stretching them out. But I think we got it. Let's go on to something else now. Eventually that uh, we'll get all new seals put on it, but uh, for now at least we can kind of shut the door without slamming it. Ali up. <laughs> Just a little bit of room under that front end there to start beating that dent out. Hopefully we can use like a floor jack and a 2x4 or something. Yeah, let's get under there. Okay, so that's what we're working with now is trying to get that, that mess out of it. See how pushed in it is. But underneath, like most of it's in that corner right there that seam i guess if we push against that seam it should kind of go back those little support rails are going to be a bit of a hindrance though this thing because we want to be able to push i wonder if we can take because this one's got a little bit of a gap between it maybe we take like a piece of plywood and we cut like um a triangle that's the shape of it and we'll let it rest right against the top of that. We, we just put a jack underneath it and see if that'll maybe push against it. Maybe that and you know, beat it on the outside a little. What do you think? Suggestions? I'm open to it. Again, I don't know what it is to take that whole thing off of there. We're gonna find out. I think we should probably start with that. We'll push on it a little bit, see what we get. If it starts to lift it right up and out of there and it's all discombobulated we'll rethink it but uh that might be our our best bet maybe we get the floor jack under there, we get to that up underneath and we'll try pushing up and see what it does. Try to push right on the crease. Wrong tool for the wrong job. Well, slight miscalculation on where the lift is, <laughs> kind of in the way. So I think I'm uh, going to drop it back down on the ground, try to bring it forward about 8-10 um, inches and see if we can get a better push on that. Alright, let's see what we got for a before I'll lay, hang that off the edge there. I'd say probably about an inch and a half, not even. Uh, we'll call that an inch in the center. Let's get a little bit of push on it. I have a feeling this is going to lift up on us. If so, we're going to clamp down on it and uh, go from there. But let's go and just give her a little. Yeah. It's pretty thick stuff. That is going to be the issue. That and I think it's lifting the whole machine up. Let's try clamping that down and we'll try it again and maybe we'll take like a two by four or some, something and we'll kind of wail on it with a little bit of up pressure and see if that does it for us. We see we give her a little shove, huh? I saw a little bit of movement. 
explode out of there and kill me. I think we should try to get some kind of wood with, I don't know, a piece of carpet or something on it. We'll lay it on there and give it a couple of whacks. I think a little bit of beatings. I got a uh, rag wrapped around a piece of wood. Let's see if that'll be enough to not leave too many big marks in it. And then go for the biggest dent. See if that uh, jack saw is pressure on. Settle a little. Better. Yeah. Hey, I'm not looking to make it perfect. We're just looking to, <laughs> you know. I to wreck that line there. I say it's much straighter than it was. We got for tape. Yeah, it came up most of it. I'm gonna see if I can relocate that thing now. Maybe try to get it right on the ridge. Maybe we'll kind of tap down on it a little bit. It's still a little dished right here. Yeah, reposition that, that piece of wood is right there on that seam. So let's see what that does for us. Well, I ain't moving much. We want to lay it, we think lay it down like this. We'll hit down on this side of it. Let's give that a shot. Blow off the paint. I think we got that line fairly straight. Yeah, I don't think we got to do much beating more on that. Maybe uh, I'm gonna tap on it here, but I think we're gonna try shifting it. I'll try shifting it in a little if I have room. And we'll do the same. Let's uh, give her a couple of love kisses. It's high right here and right there. right there Yeah, let's try, see if I can shift it in now. I think it's right where that beam is. I got it sitting there. Let's see what we got. There it goes. Oh, I got two for a while. See what spring back we get. I think we could probably come under with maybe like a rubber mallet or something right here and just give it another. One last pop and see if we can get this popped out of our way. And we'll call it a day. So I went back under and took a look where that uh, was hitting. That little support bar I was telling you that was going across. So I just put a notch where that is so that we can kind of you know, give it a couple of pushes in the middle and still uh, you know, be hitting the sheet metal up top and not just pushing on that bar. So let's see how that works. Let's see what that does for us. You can get rid of that crease that's in there. Push it way too hard there, huh? I gotta, I gotta get down here more. I don't know, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I could hit like hammer and dolly it and get all the, the rings and ribs and lines out of it. But I think I'm gonna start be beating up the paint more and more. And again, I'm not gonna paint it. And it's all right that's a little on the rough side. It's not, <laughs> we're not looking to uh, make it new. Uh, but I don't want to show, you know, all the hammer marks and whatnot. So I think we should jump onto something else. Maybe get that light off of there and start screwing with the lights. I'm not sure yet. I don't know. I feel like uh, maybe we'll screw with the uh, heater fan. And you know, the one the mice was living in. 
and more than likely I'm sure it's probably full of crap I'll have to take it apart but I figured why not uh, give us a little bit of power and uh, just yeah, for shits and giggles see, see if it does anything and I think we should be able to jump power from one of these guys should have power on yeah that one does so let's put a jumper from there and right, that one goes to ground and then this one goes into there let's see if we put a little jumper wire on that and uh, see if it'll do anything yeah it's sparking I have a feeling that bitch of that fan is just like totally goobered up with crap But at least it draws something. That means that uh, the windings aren't gone. Hold on a second. Shaky cam. Here we go. Yeah. Why don't we get rid of the live wire first before we set it down and have it arc all over the place? Looks like if we can take that pinch bolt out of there, I'm going to drop that cage right on out. Two hoses here. Yeah, let's go do that. I'm gonna try freeing that guy up. I'm probably gonna have to snap that guy off, like judging by the rust that's on it. And uh, I'll drop that unit. I say I'm amazed that that bolt did not break. But it came out of there. I got it dropped down. The wires are still connected. I'm in a process of disconnecting the hoses. And the one that comes off the heater box is off. But let's see if we get in there. Do you think there's a little bit of a nest in there? Think someone's been living maybe in there? I don't know why that fan doesn't want to turn, huh? Alright, let's get it out of there. Well, it's free. You can definitely see the the critter nest there. It looks like um shop rags, doesn't it? A bunch of you guys are getting grossed out right now. Yeah, it looks like a bunch of shop rags that were turned into. Harvey, you missing some shop rags? I found them. Hey, anyway, we got the blower out. Yeah, it's a squirrel cage fan that's in there. Yeah, that's not turning at all. So what do you say we probably bring it over to bench? We'll try opening it up and see if it services a zibble. It's looking pretty cruddy. I'm looking in there too. I see a couple of fins that are done busted and I am not even gonna bother trying I don't think putting a pair put a screwdriver on that I think maybe we'll get some of the crap out of the way and we'll go for it the old sideways vice grip steel if we can get on it let's see what this does for us Lance is afraid of that <laughs> yeah. It might actually go with vice grips. What do you think? Give it a shot. Everything is not as it appears. Hmm. Looks like sheet metal screws, or if there's actually a, a nut or something behind it. They are sheet metal screws. Hey, right, let me get those other two out. Of course, the last one wants to put up a little bit of fight. I can't get it. So I'm going to try grinding some uh, flats on each side of it there and see if we can kind of go back with the vice grips. And if that don't work, I'll put a slot down the middle of it and uh, try it with a regular screwdriver. We'll make a square bolt out of it. See if we can get on that. There she is. I don't want to beat.
beat on the structure too much because there's really not much left to it. You know, it's really thin. Not like I can uh, hit it with a uh, impact driver. There we go. Yeah, I think we're probably going to need a putty knife, and we'll have to tap under the glue there. Get that. Uh, What do you think? You could be able to rip it off? You think we got to chisel our way out? Oh, there it goes. The mouse comes running out. Dum dum. Dim dim. Hello, dum dums. Yeah, she's uh. She's needing some. And something, something. Cage is rotted out in, in one spot. You think keep working it till it frees itself up? Get in there. I don't know how much is the cage is gonna survive when we go to spin it up. I think I'm gonna go take this outside and blow it out with the air gun. We'll get some of the crap out of it. And uh Maybe we'll just try putting power to it. Yeah, I don't know how well we get that set screw out of there, getting a cage off of there and getting some oil down into the motor, but I have a feeling maybe if it if we can get it to go under its own power, it may free itself up. Yeah, I'm wishing now, aren't I? I'm gonna go blow that. Alright, it's got a lot of drag on it. I'm not giving it give it much hope, but what do you say we try putting some power to it? Let's see what we get. Get smoke. And guys ask me what jumper packs I use. I really don't have a, any um, favorite. It's just whatever I find on sale, really. It's a jumper pack. Why don't we turn it on? We'll give it kind of Zappy. It's uh, I don't really know which way it should be going. Yeah, it's just too tight. How about? And uh, we have a, like a. Don't we try. See if I get my little bottle in there, with. Automatic transmission fluids, just one, yeah. Kind of doubt it, but let's just see if we can kind of dribble a little bit of oil. Down in there where the bearing is. I don't think we have much to lose, right? Let's go give that a little. A little. You flooded it. Alright, let's see if. I'm going to try working that in a little bit. See if that works for us and uh, if I get anywhere I'll turn you back on. Yeah, let's see if we try to get the fan out. It's a set screw free. <clears throat> I, mean, I really didn't expect, <laughs> expect this to uh, cooperate. And I wouldn't exactly think this is an off-the-shelf unit. It might be. It's got a tag here. We're kind of looking to the tag maybe and do an eBay search, but I'm kind of doubting it. What fun would that be? Getting one that works. Harvey Spooner, if you're watching this, he has uh, this is the guy I got the Cushman from. He has a whole nother uh, meter made scooter there. It was a little bit more beat up. But if you want to take and see if you got a peek at the fan is still there. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna end up bending the uh, bending the shaft. If I didn't already, I'd like to be able to stick a drill on there, you know, and kind of spin it. But I don't have nothing with a, I don't think a large enough chuck to get over that. It's over a half inch right there. She might be done, guys. 
or maybe not. They gave it a, a couple of whacks <laughs> with a hammer. And it seems to have, have liked that a little bit. What do you think? Try power again? Still on. Let's see what we get. <laughs> there goes a the blade. That's what was rubbing. Ha! Still blowing air pretty good too. She's looking a little, a little lumpy and out around there, but what do you think maybe take the missing blade opposite it, and balance it out, or just leave it alone? <laughs> Actually, feels pretty good. Let's that run for a few minutes. Ah, it smells like mouse piss. Kind of blown out there too. All right, one thing I noticed is a little weird. I'll put a mark on it with a marker. You can kind of see it. All right. I put the jumper pack on one direction. If you can notice, it's spinning clockwise, right? And it's blowing air out this chute. And if I switch to wires. It still spins clockwise. I would figure for a DC motor, you spin the polarity, the direction would change, wouldn't you? Nah, I don't know. New to me. We're going in. Let's see if we can get rid of some of this, see how far it goes. Which I think we're probably going to end up having to drive this thing outside. And get the big old air gun and just start shooting it from every direction because I think it's probably going to be packed. Let's get uh, that guy off and maybe that guy off and we'll, we'll take a peek from there and see if we can uh, see a path anyway. I got them off of there. Actually this side of it doesn't look too bad. You look down in there and it's uh, you can see the heater box fins in there. Looks like most of it is on that end. But then again, this so it has two, it has two hoses that go to the front. Uh, one just comes right out into the uh, compartment right here. And once the, the uh, seat is back in, it just blows right into here. And then it has this, which runs up through there and comes up and becomes the defrost for the window. And I'm more concerned with the defrost than I am the actual heat. But uh, nice if we have both of them. So that's going to have to get purged. I'm not sure how far that goes. It goes into a, a pipe right there. Let's go look underneath. Yeah, it goes into a pipe, some plumbing, and then up there. We're gonna rip all that apart and we can get into that. But uh, I want to do that outside, like I said. And it is night and dark time out and cold out, and it's still up on the lift. So I think I'm gonna kind of wrap it up for the day. And I think we got, I don't know how long this video is, and maybe we, uh, We'll pick it back up and we'll get into, um, while this is out of the way, maybe we'll adjust the valves and stuff and uh, get a little bit better tune on the engine and uh, worry about that. And then we'll, we have a nice day. We'll take it outside and again, take the air gun and start purging and blowing through. And I got to see what we can do to try to decontaminate that from the mouse piss, you know. I have a feeling it's always going to have an issue, but uh, you know, as long as we get some heat on it when we need it for the frost. All right, it's like a plan. I wonder if um, VW um, hose, you know, the tin hose, is the same diameter as that. I'm gonna go take a quick peek and see if I have one. We'll go grab it. See what, how close it is to that size. Got a used one. That should be good enough to tell us what we got going on here, huh? That is almost actually. We might be able to stretch her out. Is that crushed? That one's crushed down. Let's go see what this side looks like. That one's kind of crushed down too. <laughs> like it was made for it. All right, so we can get away with that for the uh, running new hoses. Except for the, I think the big one. The big one we may uh, have to try to come up with something else. But I'll get a nice fresh length of that. I might even actually have one somewhere. And uh, 
That'll be able to run that guy, that guy, and that guy, and they should be able to handle some heat too. That'll be good. All right, guys. Well, with that, I think we'll uh, sign off, and uh, we'll pick back up the uh, next day we get back on it. I got a couple of the videos that are in process too, but they're waiting on parts. So uh, that was the lag in between the videos. But uh, they'll be coming out soon too. And uh, with that, I'm going to sign off. And I want to thank all you guys for hanging out and uh, wrenching in the garage with me. Till then, take care.